This collector's edition is all from actual original footage filmed on location. It has been transferred exactly as recorded. Occasionally, you may notice some imperfections. This is not the fault of your video player or your tapes. To protect their value as collector's items, we have not made any electronic improvements to the original footage. Children about, about, about them. About them. Uh, uh, there's some special songs. Special songs. Land. Land. Um, Land. Um, um, I need you. I need you. Uh, I need you. Uh, not right, uh, right now. now. Well, well, whenever it's convenient. It's convenient for me. For me. Anyway. Anyway. Children of all ages. Sit back. Sit back. Sit back. You know it. You know it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. I think it, I think it, I think it, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, Me, 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 and you, and you, and you, and you. And a television set, and a television set, and a television set, and a television set, and a television set. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it.
You know what? I desperately need three bucks for a fix. I think I might better make a phone call. Hey, New York, play the best phone music game. Choose the legends of classic rock. Sweet soul music, the deafest funk and rap, headbanging heavy metal, or the latest hot tracks. Answer the questions right and win. Three dollars in cold, hard cash. Weekly backstage passes from Ron Delsner and a ride from Limo One. And our platinum prize, Caribbean vacation from ESJ Towers Resort. Call now. In New York, only 540B. In Jersey and Connecticut, call 1-900-999-DISC.
did I say? Was it something in the tone of my voice? Where did I go wrong? Did you expect me to be gone? But since you didn't say anything, how do I know it was you? Someone's calling back now. I won't answer. I'll hang up on them. Now, what did I say? Was it something in the tone of my voice? Where did I go wrong? Did you expect me to answer again? But since I didn't say anything, how do you know it was me? I was expecting you to come over after work. What, about 9.30, you mean? Yeah, I thought yeah, you were working well, late, I mean, yeah. Well, I, so I wasn't expecting to hear from you. I thought you were just going to come over. Yeah. Well, I am anyway. I was going to bop on over. Sure, come on over. What you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Dom's got a lady friend here, so they're in the other room, and I'm just here. Uh-huh. Great. Okay. So, come on over. Bring anything you think uh, you should bring, <laughs> you know. Right. Like new tape or anything like that, you know. Okay, great. Yeah, I thought about that. There's no one here, so we can listen. Oh, fantastic. Sure, well, that's... It's pretty... Know, nobody walking in and out or something like that. Right, that's, that's important, too. Craig's away. Uh-huh. Away for the weekend. So, uh... Fantastic. Come on over. See you in a little bit. Fantastic. Bye. Bye.
walking my long Sunday morning. I was still in bed. He woke up and got dressed up for church. Left on your mold bed. I just put some music on and it was very loud. And the sun was shining in the sky. No clouds, just dreams of fun. Suddenly a man came on to preach Something is wrong I don't wanna hear no gospel I just can't believe Ever night religious as I say To me Cause
goes the back team. Goes the back team. Down go the mean old germs. And back team doesn't sting like old-fashioned dancer septics. Goes the back team. Goes the back team. Down go the mean old germs. Something I could do. Some solution. Some method to prove it to myself. I just used a razor blade to 
Fate, look. We found a pattern. Each poem was written on a slip from the next one to be pranked. Sure, I'm sure. Yo solo te puedo contar pequeñeces. Abel, tú sí que me podrías contar muchas cosas, ¿eh? Acuérdate que siempre hemos sido confidentes. Claro. Tú siempre me has contado y yo te he aconsejado con mucho amor. Tú lo sabes. Sí, claro que lo sé. ¡Ay! Well, we have to say something now. So, I'd like to say hello and welcome you to our afternoon evening show. This is Frank's wife over here. And oh, no, that's cool. She's moved just a bit since then. Sorry. This I caught Frank's me, wife. Caught me a clern. Her name is Cheryl. She's a wonderful lady, has lived for an odd 26 or 7 years in this life right now. Those are Those of you the cats. <laughs> Keep talking, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how old the, the cats are, but uh, Cheryl. Oh, it was her birthday yesterday, so that's a, a reason why some of us are here. Now, you come over to me, and I'm a human being. I'm wearing green. This is my friend R. Stevie Moore. He's taller than I am, and he hates hippos, but he loves vegetables. And over to my left, you'll see a friend. Her name is Chris. She's you're on, you're on. a very close friend of Steve's and knows a lot about everything. And has, once was a, a student a disciple of Bob, but now, although she believes in him, doesn't feel that she has to be as committed. This is, again, Steve, a very good friend of Chris's and yours, too. And he's eating something called wafer. It's a health food that Steve likes and eats from time to time. Come on, Frank. You're supposed to be the one. Talking. All right, we've got to turn this around. Hold on. Get Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a new director. I am going to record this. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Balasuri. You gonna send this to Roger or what? Vanilla Bean, radio disc jockey turned concert pianist. How do you spell relief? It's not like anything I've ever experienced before. And he backed up recklessly. Um, 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 uh, uh, uh. Beautiful. You caught me, didn't you? I know you've been looking for me a long, long time. Wondering what all the hoodoo was about. Well, I gotta admit it. You see the resemblance right here. And sure, I taught the girl how to smoke crack. You know? She wanted to leave home and I had to beat her behind her. You know, it's tough being related to the Brawley family, but I gotta admit, I honked her, and I had a real good time. And I taught her how to live in the bag, because that's what we're getting at, the future of people living in bags. I drink out of a bag, I eat out of the bag, and half in the bag all the time. I bag me a woman, and I honked her in it, and get back. And, you know, Mine, I'd like to get the hell back to sleep because I'm sure there's a lot of other girls that are roaming around that need my love. You know what I'm saying? Well, then, then you find your own self someone to love, all right? Because it's not easy in this world. You get somebody as good looking as this, you know? Just, man, you should mind your own business every once in a while, you know what I mean? God, damn. Mm. Yeah.
off me, Roger. <laughs> Thank you. 
Forward two, that's all. Well, only in the, I think that game went 20, what, 4, 25 innings that day? What did I say? 25 innings, right. Now the one, two pitch to Brookins low outside. And I think that's the game that uh, Bake McBride scored from first base on a wild pickoff throw by, uh, I believe it was Hank Webb. Yeah, there's no big out. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch on the way, and Brookins swings and misses strike three. deliver for New Jersey.
got Daryl here with us, and our special guest this month is mystery guest is Barry Chance. You remember Barry is one of the original Musketeers from Greycroft. So Mark, of course, wants to wants to say hi to you. We put together. Mark, tell them what we put together for him this month. Okay, we have a little, we have a, a little compilation of some bowling, uh, some uh, Anderson antics with Andrew singing, and uh, some July Fourth party for you. So I know that was a little while ago. The bowling was just last Thursday or Friday, and this is Tuesday, so this is hot off the press. And uh, we just hope you uh, enjoy. Barry got a message for Stevie in New Jersey. Stevie, your mother says she loves you. Hey, she said she told me that too. She hangs out with my mother all the time. They're best buddies. Me too. I keep the scoop on you. Which so we're, it's it's good to get to see you. I want to see you, Stevie. I want to see you. Well, we're coming to New Jersey. You know, I've changed a lot, Stevie. You can't hide from us anymore. Zoom in on we're this coming, head here, Frank. We're coming to New Jersey. I want you to look, Steve. You got this? Look here, Stevie. Check this shit out. <laughs> no hair. I look like Bob Moore, bass Steve player. Steve looks that way, too, you man. Remember? Bob Moore, bass player. I saw him a while ago, too. <laughs> And I want to see you. And it's good to see you, Stevie, and it's my pleasure to be special guest of the month because I know I've never been a damn thing to you anyway. <laughs> okay. I love you. Bye-bye. Black. You don't let anybody answer a question, and if you don't have a question like this lady over here, you tell her to shut up. What are you afraid of? The reason why I do that is because I get sick and tired of hearing the sob stories from kikes I get sick and tired of seeing Uncle Tom here I sucking know, up trying to be a white man. Go ahead, Roy, go ahead. Now, let me tell you. Hey, you got a kid. You got a kid. You got a kid. Hey, hold it. Sit down. Hold it. Sit down. Don Channel 11, The Star Movie.